What up, man? Got a different video for you guys today. Um, a lot of my friends on here that watch know I was basically a third generation mechanic. Could have been. Grew up working in the business that my granddad ran for decades and decades. One of the best mechanics that there ever was. So I watch a lot of online mechanic videos just because I like working on my own shit. And, uh, and I like to see different tactics that people use. And I just like watching mechanics in general. So I come across this video from the online mechanic, works for the Chrysler dealership. You know he does because that's all he's ever working on is Chrysler shit. And he had a car that come in, Chrysler 300, talked about it was overheating and blah, 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 blah. And he just kind of went into fucking talking about shit that had nothing to do with whatever he thought his diagnosis was. Um, He says... It's probably because uh, exhaust gases are getting into the into the crankcase. So what does he do? He pulls a dipstick, oil is fine, it's not milky or nothing. Then he pops the pops the fucking oil field cap, and there's some milky residue. And first thing he says, oh, can't go no further. This is a bone head gasket. They've already changed the radiator. Blah 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 blah. But I also heard him on here talking about you got to go the extra mile. You just can't be changing parts and assuming shit. I agree, you dumb motherfucker. Because look, man, I guarantee you there wasn't nothing wrong with that fucking head gasket. It was either one, a bad oil cap or O-ring, or just condensation in the motor for these people not driving it on a regular enough basis when weather changes and humidity changes and ambient temperature changes and say a person's only driving their car five to ten minutes on each trip because they may be older or something and they park it that's gonna happen condensation will get in your oil pan and if you don't get your car all the way up to operating temperature and drive it enough that condensation is not gonna evaporate out of there but the right thing to do, instead of telling these folks they needed a new fucking engine, was number one, do a fucking head test. If it passed the head test and it's got the overheating problem, then motherfucker, maybe you need to see if the damn system needs to be bled, or maybe they got a bad thermostat that's sticking. So, practice what you preach. If you go diagnosing problems like this, and you call yourself a mechanic, you are not a fucking mechanic. I've been around cars and working on cars ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper. I've never worked in the profession professionally because I was an electrician for 22 years. But to go around robbing folks like that, when I know damn good and well just by looking at it, listening to what you said, and looking at the video, knowing it's not a head gasket, and that y'all robbing folks out here just gonna fucking tell them they need a new fucking engine is asinine. Then, not only that, even if it was a head gasket, I don't give a fuck if y'all say y'all don't change head gaskets. No, that's bullshit. You can still change head gaskets. If uh, the heads may be warped, you can either get the heads uh, worked, reworked, or you can just get another set of heads to put on along with the head gasket. It makes no fucking sense. To go fucking putting a new fucking engine in when you don't even have a blown head gasket in the first place. You know, most your common everyday people that go and take a take a car to the shop, they don't know no fucking better. They don't know no fucking better. So they're going to listen to whatever the fuck the dealerships tell them. These dealerships have these damn certain protocols that they go by just so they can pat their pockets. And then not only that, you technicians are out there and they're not even paying y'all enough money. But you sitting here being their fucking lying whore and being able to lay your head down at night and sleep, that shit don't make no sense either. Same thing used to go on in the electrical industry. Years and years and years and years ago, I remember I worked on a short stint for Mr. Electric, uh, just doing service work. This lady uh, had a ceiling fan that wasn't working. Wasn't nothing wrong but the pull string switch on there. Wasn't nothing but a 2 or $3 part. And I call the office, tell them, let them know. And they tell me to tell the lady she needs to replace the fan. This lady's on a fixed income. You know what I did? 
I looked at the lady, I told her exactly what was wrong, told her what they were trying to get me to do, went back to the shop, and I fucking quit. Then I went by there that afternoon and fixed it for for free. Anyway, got to have some ethics. You got to have some common fucking sense. And we all got to do better. If every industry is going to do this shit to where we out here stealing money from folks, motherfuckers don't even need to be in business. It's bullshit. But anyway, man, hope y'all have had a great weekend. I just had to get that off my chest. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace. Oh, I had to edit this in. By the way, if you were getting exhaust fumes into the crankcase, then you have cracked fucking piston rings, motherfucker. What does that have to do with a fucking head gasket? You 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 told too many lies in that video when you were sitting there trying to explain the situation. Anyway, I'm out.